Welcome to BSc Statistic Students. In this class, I explain one of the problem in the structural changes due to the addition of the variable. Okay, due to the addition of the variable in the post-optimal analysis. You see here, this is what the given problem, one of the problems is given to you. Maximize z is equal to 3x1 plus 2x2 plus 5x3, subject to the constraints. These are the constraints here are given. And uh, uh, x1, x2, x3 greater than equal to 0. This is the problem it is given to us. Question number 1. If a new variable x7 is greater than or equal to 0 is introduced with cast 6. The cast of the variable is 6. And a7, that is, uh, that is what we have discussed. The coefficient matrix, it is going to be specified. 1, 2, 4. That is in the first constraint, it is 1. That is 1 into x7. In the second constraint, it is 2, coefficient is 2, that is 2 into x7, 2x7. Third constraint, it is 4, that is 4, uh, x7. Then discuss the effect of addition of new variable and obtain revised solution, if any. So, this is the first question. And you see the second question, question number 2. If a new variable x7 greater than or equal to 0 is added with cast 10, and a7 is equal to 846, then discuss the effect of addition of new variable and obtain the revised solution if any. Any solution is there, you please uh, find out. Okay, right. Uh, and the uh, third one, we discuss in deletion, deletion of the variable. This is regarding to the deletion. Okay, we discuss uh, in another class. You see the solution by introducing the slack variables uh, and uh, if the constraints are all less than or equal to, therefore, by using just simplex procedure, we can solve this particular problem. This is what the final optimum simplex table. Now, my dear friends, you have to solve this problem, solve the given problem, and you have to obtain, you have to get, you have to get uh, uh, a final optimum solution in the final optimum simplex table. You have to get the final optimum simplex table. You have to obtain it. So this is what the final optimum simplex table. If you observe here, the solution we have obtained, z is equal to 1350, 1350 and x1 is 0, x2 is equal to 100, x3 is equal to 230 and x6 is equal to 20. This is the basis uh, uh, matrix and the values of the basis matrix. All zj minus cj greater than or equal to 0, net evaluations. Hence, it is a final optimum simplex table. And of course, you identify yb, y2, y3, y6, which are in the basis. Right, and B is equal to that is uh, basis matrix. Uh, the values here uh, 2, 0, 4, 1, 2, 0, 0, 0, 1. It is in the given problem. Given problem that is, uh, if you write the constraints, original constraints, it refer this and B inverse. Inverse is this minus 1 by 2, 0, minus 2. Uh, inverse, uh, have you uh, see, uh, seen this? Are you able to see this? Right. B inverse. B inverse is minus 1 by 2, 0, minus 2, minus 1 by 4, 1 by 2, 1, 0, 0, 1. So, this is what the last column, of course, we have uh, identified in y4, y5, y6. The B inverse is obtained here. Okay. Leave it. And then CB, the cost is very important for us. You have to calculate B inverse A, uh, A values. Right. So, CB is equal to the cost in the basis matrix y2, y3, y6, 2, 5, 0. Y2, Y5, you see here, CB, 2, 5, 0. Y2, y, uh, Y3 and uh, Y6. So, 2, 5, 0, right? So, 2, 5, 0 is a column, uh, is a one particular uh, uh, matrix uh, which consists of uh, um, the coefficient of C, the coefficient of uh, X and the objective function, that is C, right? So, and now come to that question number 1. What is question number 1? When new variable x7 is introduced with a7, that is the column vector 1, 2, 4, the coefficient vector of the variable x7 and cast c7 is equal to 6, then, the, then what you have to calculate? First, you have to do the two important calculations. What are they? First, y7 and then z7 minus c7, net evaluation. What is y7 formula? B inverse a7. B inverse is this. Minus 1 by 2, 0, minus 2, minus 1 by 4, 1 by 2, 1, 0, 0, 1. 
and a7 a7 it's given in the question 1 2 4 multiply it you will get uh, you will get the value 0 1 4 you multiply these two matrices you will get 0 1 4 this is what y7 the first calculation second calculation net evaluation z7 minus c7 cb y7 minus c7 what is cb 2 5 0 this is this is here and uh, y7 0 1 4 just now I have calculated minus c7 c7 is a cost for the uh, 7 variable that is here it is given cost for the x7 that is 6 so after calculating you multiply these two you will get 5 2 into 0 5 into 1 plus 0 into 4 that is 5 minus 6 minus 1 the net evaluation is negative this is second case if net evaluation is positive optimum solution will, will remain same if net evaluation is negative then what you have to do you have to apply the simplex procedure you have to apply the simplex procedure by entering this y7 into the basis right so net evaluation is negative z7 minus c7 is negative hence uh, condition of optimality is not attained therefore a new or improved optimum solution can be obtained by entering y7 into the basis and applying usual simplex procedure you, you will uh, get the solution of the new lpp right so therefore what i am doing here um uh, what i am doing here i am introducing the y7 in the simplex table 1 i am considering here for the solution of new lpp I, I have introduced in addition to the y1 to y6 i have introduced y7 y7 with uh, i have calculated y7 0 1 4 and uh, the cost is 6 uh, net evaluation is minus 1 now you have to introduce uh, this y7 into the basis obviously there is no other way uh, all net evaluations that is for remaining y1 to y6 are greater than equal to 0 only the net evaluation is minus 1 just by applying the simplex procedure by taking this one that is uh, y7 enters the basis and then you have to calculate which one is going to leave the basis that is uh, xbi by yir as usual procedure 100 by no you should not consider this because it is 0 230 minimum of 230 by 1 20 by 4 the minimum is 20 by 4 therefore this is the pivotal element corresponding vector is y6 the y6 leaves a basis on y7 enters that is what the 4 is the pivotal element so this is usual simplex calculation i am not going to explain right uh, you have to convert this element is 1 and remaining these elements are zeros already this element is 0 so no need to convert r1 dash is r1 and r3 dash is uh, you have to consider r3 by 4 that is first of all you have to do this calculation r3 you come to the, end of the next table r3 dash r3 dash is r3 by 4 you will get this so 1 by 2 0 0 minus 1 by 2 1 by 4 1 by 4 1 you see this is the r3 2 by 4 1 by 2 0 0 0 by 4 0 by 4 minus 2 by 4 1 by 4 1 by 4 4 by 4 1 so these are the calculations for the r3 dash similarly r1 dash as usual because no change because it is the element is here 0 and r2 dash r2 dash for which you have to use this calculation that is uh, row operations minus 1 into r3 dash plus r2 like that you do the as usual simplex procedure you will get r1 dash r2 dash r3 dash and uh, finally we got this value now is you see here it is an improved solution z here 1350 and z here in the next simplex table it is 1355 so that is we have to see very clearly so that uh, it is going to be obtained so therefore uh, again we are computing the all net evaluations and net evaluation z minus is a greater than equal to 0 here you observe here 9 by 2 0 0 1 by 2 9 by 4 11 by 4 0 so etc all the net evaluations are uh, greater than equal to 0 y7 enters into the entered into the basis it enters into the basis we have taken y6 leaves from the basis therefore we have calculated remaining all the calculations and then we got uh, um, net evaluations all net evaluations z j minus is a greater than equal to 0 hence the solution is optimum therefore z is equal to 1355 the corresponding values of x1 x2 x1 is 0 x2 is 100 x3 is equal to 225 as usual and x7 is equal to 5 the new variable x7 the value is 5 that is the 
question 1 this is what the improved solution we got when x7 is introduced into the uh, it is uh, added into the uh, uh, new lpp it is added to the uh, lpp then uh, the new lpp solution is this hope you understand this is what we have to do in the uh, solution you see then a question number 2 question number 2 is also another kind of variable it is going to be added the new variable x7 is added with the cost c7 is equal to 10 and a7 is equal to 846. Then again you have to calculate y7 and z7 minus c7. y7, b inverse a7. So we a7 we have considered 846 and b inverse as usual is equal to 3, 2 minus 6. Okay, leave it. And then z7 minus c7. This is the what nut evaluation c b y7 minus c7. C b is 250, y7 is this y 3, 2 minus 6 minus c7 is 10 so 16 minus 10 6 greater than 0 so it is a positive value the net evaluation is positive therefore uh, the solution remains uh, same uh, no particular change you see this is what uh, it is uh, written this is not the table for referring to the second question since the net evaluation z7 minus c7 6 is equal to 6 is greater than 0 greater than 0 then the optimum optimality condition of the given lpp is not affected and the post optimal analysis by adding the uh, new variable x7 so there are two cases we have observed in this particular problem and we discuss uh, uh, deletion of a variable in the third question deletion of a variable in the next class hope you understand the, i have discussed only the case of addition of variable in the case of addition of a variable and what would be the solution uh, uh, two cases also i have discussed the two problems, okay. problem one and problem two, right, thank you, thank you very much.